Do you understand what day it is? It's the day I've been waiting for forever in Forza history. It's Fox All Day. <laughs> Two absolute iconic, well, more so one iconic legend. The insignia, the most common plebby car there is. Let's buy the insignia first because I want to jump into these voxels and do them properly. This is what, there you go, police cars. That's exactly what you expect with this car. It's just so freaking calm. It's like, think of it for Americans. Ford Crown Victorias, Dodge Chargers, the iconic police cars. When you see them, you're like, are they a cop? Are they, are they? Voxels, we don't think, are they a cop? We actually worry and hope that they are a cop because, I mean, our cops are, they're pretty obvious when they are. The objective right now is to pursue and enslave. That's the objective. Now, okay, we want to upgrade these things a little bit. Let's jump into upgrades and tuning. I don't think I've ever properly modified an old Vauxhall before. This is, this is, this is what I've always wanted. You know, I, I complain a lot about this game. But they're now adding exactly what I have hopes and dreamed for for all of my life. I mean, to be fair, it would be better if there was something. Is this lights? Because if so, the camera angle. Yeah, it is lights. The camera angle's not the, not the best. But we've got some cop lights on there. Oh yes, I'm so glad they added the cop lights. They, they you can definitely tell now that they're a UK developer. If they weren't a UK developer, they wouldn't have done that. Do I want to swap it? What can you swap in engine wise? Because Let's be real, the insignia. Oh, it's a VXR, so it's not awfully slow. We can swap in a V8 or a four cylinder turbo rally. We could put a V8 in a Vauxhall insignia. It's just the one. I want to keep the engine displacement, everything as is, and just absolutely smash the absolute heck out of it and show chavs that this is one thing you can achieve with a VXR insignia. I would love, I would love if everybody chose insignias instead of. Corsas or Astras, which is now it's a Ford Fiesta. I keep getting told that. I know the Fiesta ST is the new. I know there's that Instagram community that I found. They all have Fiesta STs. But don't worry, my Insignia VXR police car is definitely going to do something about that. We're going to crack down on those yobbos. Insignia VXR is all wheel drive. I didn't. I didn't know that. Well. There's another reason that I, I, I'm being educated by Forza. Can you believe it? No wonder they both use them. This is literally the equivalent of Chargers in America. I've not changed my car horn since I started this bloody game. No! Give me the police siren. Let's go with the window next, people. That'll do. Aha, funny. Funny me, man. <laughs> All wheel driving in a Vauxhall that hunts down courses. If anything, if, if you're disappointed by the fact they added voxels to the game. You're like, why do we want voxels? Because we want to chase down all the voxels. This is the voxel that chases down the most voxels. This is what you want in your life. It's stable. I should, is, you know, I'm selling my GTR and buying an insignia. It is one of the ugliest cars I've ever seen. What year is this from? Can I have a look? I it's a 2010. 2010, and they were making heaps that look like this. The problem with voxel is... They don't, they don't seem to keep with the, the modernness of cars. I mean, to be fair, the new, don't repeat this anywhere. The new Astra kind of looks all right. But generally, they are so behind on the time. They take forever to update their cars and they keep these hideous models until 2010, 2010. If you told me this was from 2007 and that's when they stopped production, I would have been like, right, that makes sense. We've got a chipmunk in here as well, mate. This feels like home now. I expected it to be a lot quicker than it was. I did upgrade the engine massively, and you'd think, oh, yes, power is going to be on my side. No, we're struggling. I mean, we're not really struggling. To be fair, this this is pretty quick for an instant. Let's be real. It's a Vauxhall, Theo. Not quite sure what you were expecting. 300 miles per hour pocket rocket. Yet, yeah, ain't going to happen, I'm afraid. But what is going to happen is we're going to get a 300 mile per hour pocket rocket out of the next piece of art this next Vauxhall it doesn't deserve the Vauxhall back because Vauxhall to me is just one of those brands that it's just like they, they've never really made a car that makes me go mm, that's that's actually quite nice VX220 turbo this is not a Vauxhall take off the badge you're making it look bad that's a red dead design red, 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 red dead design that's pretty sweet on here it's, it's a difficult car to design. I would I would take the mic and say, oh, these are all rubbish. I mean, some of them are pretty good, like that one, for example. But it's one of those cars that I think looks best 
simple. It's light. It is ridiculously stupid. They're cool. I've seen one of them. It was actually at, I've only ever seen one. It was at my car meet that I did not too long ago for Forza Horizon's launch. Oh my, it's actually, a, it's, an, it's a work of art. It just goes against everything Vauxhall. Everything. Not to 60 in five seconds. Not to 100 in 13. Top speed 155. And how much horsepower does it have? 107, 197 horsepower. That is quick. There is literally nothing to this car, and that is why it is so quick. I I'm glad it's in here. Finally, we've got ourselves a racing V8 that we can throw in. We could. I, I might start with that if I'm totally honest with you. But if I go with the standard V8, I can probably get more power out of it. I'm gonna go with the standard V8 and then slap on. Ooh, I'm gonna yeah, normally. Ooh, let's go with this. Normally, I would go with t uh, turbos on this, but. Uh, I want to play around with it. So again, it's rear-wheel drive. It's a sports car. It's a Vauxhall sports car, which is just unbelievable to me in every single way. Now we can throw on all the power and get this meaty Vauxhall to fly. Literally, it will probably take off in a second. Just, just wait and see. How big can we make these tires? Oh my God, those are massive. Not that it needs them on the front because there's no reason whatsoever for them to be there. Uh, let's put the spacers on as well. I forgot to put them on the the meaty boy. But there we go. They fit much nicer now. Look at that. Spacers. It should be an option in all the cars. I don't know why it isn't. To it would totally help every single car in existence. Install the setup. 3.4 seconds not to 60. Rear wheel drive. That is mental. I thought I made it white, but I've actually made it uh, silver. Like a chrome. FIFA YouTuber crap. Anyway! Oh! Oh! The actual devilness of it! Oh my Christ! I wasn't even trying to turn there! Oh, I. Hey. Oh, bit cheeky there. I know exactly what you were thinking when you made that sign. Woohoo! That's naughty. That's a lot. That's a cool thing, actually. Uh. You would, you would get called that as an insult, probably, in, in some parts of the United Kingdom. Uh, but as Americans, uh, as an American company, Xbox were like, no, it doesn't mean anything. It could just be totally innocent, Theo. Shut up! No! I'm going to assume that it's bad. Okay. I can't... I struggle to get this thing to, to hold in any way. It is designed for 200 horsepower, and it makes a four second not to 60 from that. So... Throwing in a meaty 6.2 litre V8. Oh my god! What we're gonna have to do is some playing around with it so it actually is able to do some higher speeds. Let's throw it all the way up there. I don't even like I ain't got time for proper tuning. Who do you think I am? Let's try get a nice launch here. So let's hold it about 4,000 and go. Alright. Nope. Calm down. Okay, that, I'd say that's I'd say that's quick enough. But you want to put your foot down. It's one of those things where people will moan at me for, for not driving this very well. But come on. Who wants to drive this well? If you put a meaty, stupid 6.2 litre V8 in something that weighs as much as my sock, you want to be, you want it to be stupid, really. If it was sane... Yeah, anyway. I guess we should talk about what I think of the DLC. I think that the DLC is, is decent. There's not really been one car that I've been super excited that they've released yet. But that's probably because there's a lot of cars already in the game that I absolutely love. And I just haven't bothered to try it because I've tried them in every other Forza. And I know how they're going to handle and what parts they have and that kind of thing. And that's why I'm kind of like... Why did they just drive to the boat? <laughs> I'm ki I kind of prefer the model of other racing games where there's less cars and there's more parts. And I know that can be seen as a negative to some people, because some people prefer the amount of cars, and that's, you know, totally acceptable, you know, each to their own. I just like that, the idea of having more parts added to older cars, and I hope that's something that they consider doing at some point, maybe the next Forza game. Uh, just because the amount of, the, the lack of parts in this game means that everybody practically puts on the exact same parts, and there's not much creativity in the matter, I think. And uh, to me, that's kind of what cars are about. It's about personalization, creativity, and 
yeah, I guess that's that's my round off for the video. I would like to see some more older courses. Please, 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 Forza Edition, Voxel Corsa, C or B? C. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments your favorite vehicle from today. I like both. And I'm going to say, of Voxels, this is probably the coolest Voxel you can get in existence. Smash that subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.